and you were two-handed tapping on a um, Charvette. Charvette with the Floyd Rose. This is the first opportunity we've had to uh, have a, a, little, uh, a little remember about um, yeah. Eddie Van Halen. And well, what he meant yeah. to, to, to us, well, more specifically, what he meant to you, Matt. You know, well, this, is, this is your one, really. I think the first time you ever heard me play anything, I was probably playing Eruption, wasn't I? I was 14. Uh, our friend Justin had just uh, kind of enlisted me into the cult of guitar. Um, hmm. And you, I walked into the room and you were wearing a fake, no, I can't remember what t-shirt you were wearing, but you were- it's Probably fake in my Iron Maiden probably at the time. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And you were wearing, and you were two-handed tapping on a um, Charvette. Charvette with the Floyd Rose. Charvette, a, a bright orange crackle effect oh, yeah. with a, yeah. And I thought you were like, um, yeah, you were like an alien that had landed from outer space. Because I didn't know that two-handed tapping. I didn't know anything about it. Well, this is this is one of the things that Van. I think one of the things that Van Halen people see him now, it doesn't necessarily have the same impact it did when I saw him when I was fourteen. Yeah. Um, and someone gave my. I had a video of the fifty one fifty live. Oh, um, amazing. Yeah, yeah. You know the the, the Hagar first Hagar album tour, um, and there's the whole of the you know the solo thing where he's doing all the or does it you know um, eruption and. That one and um, 316. That one and all that stuff. And, yeah. you know, at the time, the only time you never saw a two handed guitar playing on the television, or you didn't, did you? You know, it was just shredding. It was, you know, you, you, you sort of saw a lot of the, the you know, we, we grew up with like the, the shredding kind of generation yeah. of guitarists, all the shrapnel records and all that kind of stuff. But Van, Van Halen was a bit, yeah. I don't know. He well, had, he, he, he I mean, I heard him before I heard. Um, any of the other, I mean, he was the first. I went to uh, guitar lessons and I was into Iron Maiden Guns N' Roses, and then I got Van Halen one and the first Blizzard of Oz album, the Randy Rhodes one. And those oh, yeah. two records were huge for me, you know, the Randy Rhodes yeah. one as well. Um, and like Eruption, and <sighs> he was such an awesome rhythm player as well. He's an incredible rhythm player, really yeah. awesome rhythm guitarist, really innovative musician yeah and um he, each album he made he changed all his gear as well I really so didn't know that. he changed loads of his gear all the, all the gear was changing all the time he was soaring bits out of guitars he's breaking <laughs> guitars he was changing the pickups he was you know each album that the, the guitars evolved i mean on that um live when he's playing that steinberger he's yeah. you know he, everything he's he was constantly evolving and he was a true definition of someone who was progressive you know in their approach to music i mean van halen riff wise they're a super rhythmic band mm. but he's and he's lee playing he could play really flash all the time but if you listen to what he was doing a lot of it was really melodic and really you know tri lots of triads and yeah, yeah. Um, you know, if you listen to the progression from, you know, Eruption and Little Guitars and then through to Cathedral, where it's, yeah, you know, yeah, boop, yeah. Boop, 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 and it's not, you know, there's all these delay things he was doing. And then, you know, to get through each album, and then he moved on to the synths on uh, 1984. So each yeah. record, he was, he, he was the very definition of a progressive musician. He was trying new things all the time. And he also wrote killer songs. You know, there's yeah. so many you know so many great van halen songs and um it, it was really weird because um you know there was there were a band that uh, van halen one was a huge record when i was a kid to me yeah, yeah. And, I, and, I, and i didn't realize um how upset i'd be when he passed away and i was, I was really gutted and i was really you know i haven't been that yeah. upset about anyone passing you know it's weird because i don't know because he was just a sort of <sighs> sort of a symbol of that era of music, I suppose. And, you know, he was always in all the guitar magazines. Yeah. And, right. and the, you know, you never would have had, you know, Vi and all that lot. I mean, like I say, I'm not really into, I'm not a shreddy guitarist, really. But to learn that at the time, that was just, it was, it was so far ahead and so exciting and so musical. And so, yeah. you know, there's certain things you do, you know, like the, the tapping and the bends and the... Yeah. And there's like a harmonic thing you used to do like that. Yeah. And they, they're going across the strings. Like, 
and that and the you know the multiple pa- the strings get the patterns and stuff that i i still use those things sometimes without realizing you know that i spent hours and hours learning to play eruption when i was 14 13 or 14 well, i think i don't think it's over you know I've, I've heard this a few times in the last couple of weeks but i don't think it's overestimating i mean whenever this is kind of like the, the populist kind of like the front facing you know kind of um uh opinions if you say to most people in the street you know um guitar hero they'll pre- they'll probably say Jimi hendrix yeah hendrix they'll probably class. say and then they'll probably say you know quite possibly they'll say van halen and i think that's the kind of level he was on oh. really, wasn't it? you know as well there was the you know beat it was a a crossover record yeah. that you know people heard of and um you know it was I was really upset. I'm, yeah. I was sort of surprised how upset I was because I don't really get you know, celebrity passed away, but I think because he represented something that was joyous and wonderful yeah, yeah. in rock music and he was always smiling and, um, you know, he was very much that era of rock music when the end of the 80s, early 90s, when it was all about sort of flash playing just before grunge sort of came in yeah. and everything changed, which I, and I loved all that music as well. Yeah. But uh, in terms of non-embarrassing Widley guitarists, he was him and Randy Rhodes are the sort of two yeah. stick out as ones that were really cool and really sort of you know. It's interesting actually. You're saying about like the you know after the the kind of like the shred years as it were. And actually the other day I listened um, on the radio and there was Billy Corgan, and um, uh, he was talking about how he'd been um, Guitar World magazine or something um, in the '90s. He'd basically gone to them and said. I, I want to, I want to interview Eddie, Eddie Van Halen. And they were like, mm. this is, you know, I think this is around the time of like melancholy or something like that. And they were like, it, really, you know, you're kind of supposed to be like this anti guitar guy, or, you know, guitar hero or something. And he was like, nah, Van Halen. <laughs> it's like, Corgan, know. Corgan loved, loved, you know, Rush and Van Halen. Yeah. I think, you know, and like, um, who's the dude from Pearl Jam, uh, guitarist? Stone Gossard, Mike McCready. Yeah. Mike McCready's been doing Eruption live, hasn't he? I oh, really just, you know, he's been apparently yeah, asked well, to read well. his like, It was just one of those things that um, someone came along. There's only a few guitarists that sort of, you know, really, you know, Hendrix, everyone yeah. was, Hendrix yeah. changed everything. And then in the 80s, you know, the late 70s, early 80s, Van Halen changed everything. Yeah. I mean, you know, there was, you know, and Randy Rhodes kind of did things that was unusual. Yeah. Fripp did things with some unusual scale stuff that Malmsteen did some sweeping, sweep, sweeping things, sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. things. Yeah, but, um, you know, and then Clapton early before that, you know, with the Blues Breakers and that. So there's all these sort of evolutionary link, um, links in the chain. Yeah, yeah. I think um van halen was a really important link in that chain you know what i mean so yeah, definitely yeah yeah Absolutely. um and uh, it was he was, was uh, never naff no it wasn't embarrassing was it he said he van halen it was, it was i don't know he could do pretty much he it was embarrassing just, like you know play a unaccompanied guitar solo for like 10 minutes and i don't think anybody thought it was naff he, he, he had a real we, me- melody sense of melody sense of structure he, he played old he played different pieces there'd be different you know if you listen to the solo on the on the, the live thing yeah. he, i mean he's, he's drinking yeah and he's got a cigarette and he puts a cigarette in the end of his guitar yeah. and just sits down in front of a whole arena of like twenty thousand people and just plays his guitar solo And Amazing. there's no one else who could do that in a non-embarrassing way. Yeah, you know, exactly. that'd be, it's, a, it's a very hard thing to pull off yeah. and not be cheesy. And he did it. And he, you know, there was a, I mean, his guitar sound was revolutionary at the time. Yeah, there's yeah. so many things he did, you know, the Floyd and, the, and putting a humbucker into a strap. You know, I've got yeah, a yeah. Telecaster with a, with a humbucker stuck in the front of it. Yeah. And I remember one of the tone police nerds saying to me, um, you know, you can't, you can't put that in there. That won't work. And I just thought, well, I know what I'm doing. I know what I want. I'm looking for a sound. And yeah, I think yeah. one of the reasons, you know, he was looking for a sound. Um, yeah, yeah. That's why he was cool, because he was always trying to find a new sound, trying to find something yeah. new. 
it's funny actually in that Corgan interview that I listened to when he was talking about Van Halen, he said he asked him, you know, as a, as a kind of like a gear, you know, gear nerd, um, he said like, oh, you know, you know, you famously modded, you know, your amp to, you know, on the first album mm-hmm. to do this, this, and this, and he said Van Halen just turned to him and said, no, I didn't, I didn't touch it, I just made all that up. <laughs> but he was just a super cool dude, and he was, yeah. you know, I was just really sad because, you know, um, I suppose he's just one of those, you know, since I was 14, 15, he's always been a bit of a hero of mine, yeah. and he was, he was cool. He was genuinely cool, and I think we are at this very sad time that those guys, you know, um, you know, a lot of them are getting sick or old, or they don't, yeah. you know, they can't play as like they used to and it's it's we have to remember how lucky if we get a chance to see that generation of musicians yeah. how lucky you are to see them because yeah it's the passing of the torch now that it those is. guys aren't around it's going to be around anymore and so that's, that's quite heartbreaking isn't it what we're basically saying is that the next fierce and the other album will have lots of guitar guitar solos on it if you let me it will <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell Cool. Uh, go, right. uh, go and listen to Van Halen and um, Van Halen one. Van Halen one's the one. Um, although everything up until the 1991's pretty good, and there's still bits, good bits later on as well. Even the last couple of albums were had some pretty. Good yeah, no, there's, there's the, the, the one, the Roth ones, all right, and um, um, Four and Lawful Chronology is all right. The first Sammy Hagar one I really love. Mm. It's not that's not a cool one to be into for the, the nerds, but I love that record, and I love you know. Um, all the all the fair warning and that. I mean, it's just you know really special stuff. So there we go. Uh, listen to Van Halen. Um, have a nice time. See you. See you around. <laughs>